How's it going YouTube? John from Low Style Biogas back here again today. Uh, finished up the plumbing for the dust buckets for the drain line all the way down and around into the sump. I have the towers mounted, ready to go. I still have to get nine more five gallon buckets, which I'm going to get recycled pickle buckets, so I'm not going to worry about those for right now. Next up is the plumb. All right, so let me do this up so you can see it. That line right there, plumb that into the buckets all the way down, which goes around that system. You see there's three valves. The very top valve, or four valves, excuse me. The very top valve goes into the tower system. The very bottom valve on that same line goes to the Dutch buckets. The, the bottom valve on the right-hand side, which is slightly open, goes to the aquaponics tank to my right. That uh, valve right there, which is left open, is the future for heating for the system. At the very top of that, I have a half-inch fitting waiting for future expansion. You see another half-inch fitting right there that's threaded in and blocked off for future expansion. And the expansion, this is going to be where, uh, well, let me, before I get the, let me do the expansion, I have the shelves up here about six foot tall for uh, ceilings above the fish tank. They're gonna be rock wool and they're just gonna be misted and drained back into the fish tank. System's still up and running. I still gotta get rid of that blue bucket and change it out with a broken bucket. That way I'm not wasting good buckets. And yeah, same thing with that pickle bucket down there. So there's the drain system. I gotta, I gotta put the hole straight down for the, uh, I might just kick it off to the right and let it drain naturally. Uh, starting to do, so you see duckweed for the fish, which are coming shortly. I have some in here, which is unfortunately turning it green, but whatever. I had to kill all the snails first. So how the system works is uh, the fish fertilize the water. The plants will be in there, all of them. Oh, the sandbags you see in the corners are just in case. Around the outside, I have strapping all the way down to hold it in place, plus stakes on the inside, which you can't see anymore because of the plastic. This keeps it nice and secure, even in high winds. Fish tank is going to get fishies probably next week or the week after. It depends on my schedule. The center pole is just there to keep the wobble out. Uh, I really don't know what the say I mean everything's working just fine already leak tested everything there's no leaks in the system the drain works I still have to screw the boards to the down that way they don't move but she's good to go I mean basically now I just need to start the plants up for it for winter and I'll go from there I got plenty of time it's been really hot today working in here getting everything wrapped up uh, I still got to pull all these buckets back out one more time, just a silicone in the front and rear for just in case. Fill them full of perlite and put them back in location. Then I'll be doing the five gallon buckets, which I have three, four more to pick up that are free for the pickle buckets. So we'll go from there. Uh, any questions or comments, let me know, but she's getting there. It's a work in progress. Oh, yes, also, I'm just holding this up with zip ties. I need to pick up some metal strapping to get that held down properly. That way she doesn't rotate or wobble. Just in case. I might put a center, another one more support in the center right there. We'll see how it goes. All right, questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments.